Anderson now, babe. Yay! Else in the UK, it's a heat wave. Hollyhead? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> so we're staying at Blackthorn Farm and we're going to take a, a walk now along the coastline, which is supposed to be dramatic. Hopefully, we've, we can see it through the mist. <laughs> One brave grouse. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, there we go. He's taking his life into his own hands, going into the dog exercise area. There's your coastal path. Yes. We've got a few brave people there. If you don't like spiders, close your eyes. Quite wild here. Literally nobody around, so I better not fall in. Never seen swell like this. Do not want to fall in there. Look how gnarly it is. Well, we should be going that way. You probably can't make it out on camera in the mist, but there's a load of massive cows. Huge cows. And I'm sure they're friendly, but in this mist, they're chasers. We don't want to risk no. it. So we're going this way instead. Showers and toilets, washing up. Katie. answering some questions on YouTube and Michelle says to me you're asking me about how I've improved the the Wi-Fi yeah, signal and it's yeah. not affecting the TV and it's not affecting the TV uh, and so what I did put it on the roof <laughs> it's it won't blow it away so Michelle said oh. the wind's gonna blow it away it's, it, it's not and you know it costs 500 pounds to uh, have one of those my fi things put on the on the on the roof. We're, we're just gonna see a seagull carrying a yeah. barn its phone around. I've just done it for free. <laughs> when it's misty on Hollyhead, what do you do? You get in your motor home. And you travel to Conway. Yes. that we came through to get here. My God, squeaky bum moment that was. <laughs> so anyway, it's 14 degrees uh, on Hollyhead and it's 21 here, so a bit of a no brainer. Yes. Took just under an hour to get here. Parking was £4.50 for 10 hours. Can't stay later than six, but I think we'll stay until six because it's still misty on Hollyhead.
we were drawn into this place just by the smell outside. So lovely. Mm. Looking for somewhere to eat our paninis and drink our coffee. Maybe. This is an amazing place. Where you have to go. Oh. We have a one way system. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go this way. Reminds me of York. Just the walls. Yeah, and Chester. Can't beat a good city wall walk. Yeah. This looks a very good one actually. Uh, no, I've heard of Conway Castle before, but not the uh, the walled walk. And we're looking for potentially a new house. I think we found it. The smallest house in Great Britain. I wonder how much it is. <laughs> but it's worth more than a lot of my houses. Uh, Hello, two, please. Two. Does it take a long time to walk around? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a brief, a brief um, tour. The last person who lived here was actually six foot three. Well, there I guess. A bit of bending required to get in. And I think the lady just said earlier that a family of six used to live here in the 1800s. Wow. That's cosy. <laughs> for human habitation. Oh my goodness. The man who owned it went all over the country measuring small houses to prove this was the smallest. This is about the same size as our living area in our motor home. The wall yeah. And the coal was kept underneath. The cooking was done on the front floor in the bedroom. How on earth a family of six could live in here, I have no the idea. The inhabitant was a fisherman. We hope you have enjoyed your visit. Please mind your head when you are leaving. I know it's going to be small, but I don't think it's going to be this small. This house was... Walk around the town done. Now it's time to explore a bit further afield. Are you ready for this? Definitely. Let's go explore. The bike's allowed up. Bikes up here. Yeah. I wanna get high on Caught by surprise by you. Reminds me of uh, the Italian job.
That was about 22 miles. Great ride, wasn't it? Super. Really enjoyed it. Really good. Very varied. Lots of things we didn't even expect to see. So definitely, definitely recommend it. Although it would be better to do it uh, anti-clockwise rather than clockwise like we did it. Because it avoids having to do back a loop on oh, yourself. Oh yeah. Slowly came through. Yeah. Oh god, it's the right of way as well. Go slowly! Goodness me. Oh yeah. Beauty. is over there and looking very misty still so we've decided let's stop off in Katie and have some what have we got babe fish and chips well I've got fish and chips you've got scampi and chips yes we're not gonna sit outside because it is really windy and pretty cold right now it's got a cup of tea going I've seen thicker pieces of fish oh yeah <laughs> Looks nice though. Well, hopefully. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, let's get talking. Well, it has to be said, we are struggling with the weather uh, somewhat, where it's gloriously sunny the rest of the UK, but misty. The sun is actually trying to come out here, so we're going to do a bike ride around Hollyhead and a bit of Anglesey. Can you believe it's actually June and the weather is yeah. crazy? We've got our full Ridiculous. kind of winter clothes on. Yes. Thermals, the lot winter pants and he's got his woolly pants on. Sure he's just to lower the tone. Can actually see the sea down there so it must be clearing. Let's go. <laughs> You know how much we love a gate on a bike ride. Andy's got his across there. And Andy's going to do mine now because <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that. This one has the added complication of steps. I was even my bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, good knee action going on there. The excitement of bikes somewhat, sometimes. Just perfect. Your carriage awaits you. <laughs> Thank you, thanks, sir. <laughs> well, I think we've done well here. Michelle's got a pink gin and raspberry cake, and I've got some chocolate orange, so they're mighty fine. Is everything okay? Apart from the size, <laughs> I've been well short changed, haven't I? You have. Huge, tiny. Yes. What can I say? I need to have. Hey, oh, I'll have some of yours then. At least that much. <laughs> and you can have that much. There we go. I think that's actually a fair deal. That is not a fair deal. <laughs>
Well, we're just on our ride to Southstack and guess who we've met? Yay! I mean, you can't really miss us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so excited. Yeah. Brilliant. We did ones up whilst we were in Wales, we would see them, and here they are. Fantastic. <laughs> it was fate. We were meant to meet guys. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Thank you. Aww. Lovely to meet you guys. Yeah, Aww. these bikes are class. Yeah. <laughs> and we hope you're having a wonderful time in our brilliant country. We hope you've seen loads of it and that you inspire your followers to come and, yeah. and experience it for themselves. Yeah, exactly, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. We are in oh, Custard. Yeah, we're actually here. Oh my gosh. This is where they live. Oh, <laughs> and there's actually even a surfboard in here. Yeah. Oh. Somebody thought was an ironing board before. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've just got my eyes on the drone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Which, which model is that? It's the DJI Mavic Pro 2 Zoom. 2 Zoom? Yeah. yeah wow. Cool. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, I love it. It's <laughs> so nice. Oh, bless. <laughs> Oh, you are amazing. <laughs> and we're back. So that's 41 and a half miles. A good day out, wasn't it? Really good. Really enjoyed it. Very cold to begin with, but it's, we've actually got a little bit of blue sky showing through. <laughs> and the mist is gone. Fantastic. And we had a nice surprise at the end. <gasps> yeah, can you get it? How cool to see them. We custard the bus, which is now the green bus. And they even let us have a look on board. <laughs> they did. Fantastic. That was so cool going on there, wasn't it? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Lovely. Okay, what now? Gin. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Blue sky at last. It's hardly any clouds. It's amazing. It's so nice to see. Oh, welcome change. <laughs> so we've got a uh, about 11, probably 12 mile walk today along the coastline to the Morning. north and south stacks. And then we're going to head round to Hollyhead and then back. So it should be an excellent walk. Looking forward to it. It should be good, shouldn't it? Especially with weather like this. Oh, you can really see the views. It makes you realise and appreciate how high we are up here. So in the distance there, that's Snowdonia. So we can see all the way across Anglesey, which is very flat, to the mountains over there. Wow. It's the first time we've probably been able to see this view, isn't it? <laughs> So misty when we walked back up here two nights ago. We had no idea that we were so close to Southstack. There's the lighthouse. Just discussing that bank there and uh, what we think is it's there to stop the cows uh, cliff diving. There's a fence but there's actually a big hole in the fence. Up here that side and here this side so it won't happen. Hot Circle's ancient monument. to the top of the mountain it'll be obvious why it has been used by those who wanted to impress dominate or give a warning the stone circles look good i think what would be really good is to see them from above <laughs> view is just amazing here. We can see Snowdonia in the distance and all the way to the edge of the, uh, the coastline along the north of Wales. Uh, obviously down here we have Southstack. I think the kayak has spooked the birds because they're all flapping along I think making warning signs to all the rest that was danger.
How's the lungs? Tough, baby. So we are staying here. The first night we walked around this piece of coastline and today we've walked to here along the coastal path to South Stack. And now what we're going to do is walk all the way to Hollyhead and then back to our motorhome. Just had our first view of North Stack in the distance over there. That's where we're heading now. Keep seeing all these hooks and pins. And we've got no idea what they're for. So if anybody has any idea, please write it in the description below. I've just seen something in the water and I'm sure it's dolphins or something. I don't know whether you'll be able to make it out, but there's little like gaps over there. Take a photo, babe, and then tell me. They're definitely moving along. There's about five, I think. I think they're dolphins. Can you get a photo? I've done a photo. I think you're right. Am I? Right. Yeah, oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Zoom right in. Got there. You twonk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for goodness, <laughs> just properly do what I say. North Stack, much quieter here, further from the car park, so not as many people here. Quite interesting as well, the, uh, the water's very choppy there, where the two sides of the island are obviously meet in, in the water. South Stack. North Stack. And we are back, like Thorn Farm. I think I've worn her out. You promised me an ice cream at the beach. There was no ice cream van, oops. Oh. How, how far do you think? Mm, 12 miles. 12.6. Oh, we look back, yeah. You're doing me a Pim's Lemonade, aren't you? Yeah, Pim's Lemonade is the order of the day. The chair looks like you after a few drinks. Oh, God. Is it a bad time to mention a bike ride tonight now? <laughs> All the trimmings. Ooh. Hey, that looks amazing. Does that make up for the ice cream? Yeah, that makes up for the ice cream, definitely. Oh, babe, you've done a great job there. We've got strawberries, orange, mint, and ice cucumber. cubes. <gasps> No half measures, babe. I am very. I impressed. never do half measures. <laughs> 